is America to conservatives? Rather than defining America as the land, the people, the culture, or the state, conservatives in this country often define America as exclusively the values of their own ideology. That way, everyone to their left can be labeled an outgroup that hates America or is un-American. Conservatives believe in a natural meritocracy and natural hierarchy. The property rights and low taxes are related to the hierarchy of capitalism. The elevation of the majority or dominant people and disinterest in helping the minorities or subordinate people are related to Christian supremacy, white supremacy, patriarchy, and other social hierarchy. Finally, empowering the police enforces these hierarchies domestically, and empowering the military enforces American supremacy abroad. To a conservative, the playing field is neutral, and success and status are determined by hard work, meritocracy. However, these beliefs conflict with reality. Those born into poverty are significantly more likely to remain that way than those born into better circumstances. These hierarchies do not flow naturally, they sustain themselves by keeping those at the top where they are. This is how conservatives dismiss accusations of sexism, racism, and other forms of bigotry. To conservatives, nobody is being held down or disadvantaged. Everybody gets what they deserve. This is the order of things, and for many conservatives, this order is not simply natural, but is ordained supernaturally by their god. Furthermore, this belief in meritocracy not only justifies hierarchy within America, but justifies a hierarchy of nation-states. To conservatives, America is allowed to control the world through its foreign policy because it has earned that right through its military strength and economy. Conservatives perceive America as American values, but they define American values the same way that they define conservative values. Conservatives, America is their values, and opposition to their conservative values is un-American, treasonous, and morally wrong. When conservatives say, you hate America, it doesn't have anything to do with the United States of America. It's a value judgment about you not adhering to their conservative values. Conservatives often use the term real America to refer to themselves, the implication being that anyone to their left is un-American or a fake American. When confronted with a problem with America, the response from conservatives is obfuscation and accusation all in one term. You hate America. Are you protesting racial inequality and police brutality? Is this something America should confront and reckon with? No, you just hate America. Are you marching to bring attention to climate change? Is this important to you and your children's future? No, you just hate America. Do you want to make sure students know about the civil rights movement? No, you just hate America. Tax the rich? Hate America. Raise the minimum wage? Hate America. An accusation of this magnitude is always going to appear more sensational and captivating than the actual issue, which will move audience attention to the accusation instead of the issue. Frankly, even if the accused person genuinely did hate America, that would not immediately invalidate their unrelated point. I hope this has been helpful in understanding where this talking point comes from, what this talking point really means and that the next time a conservative says you hate America, their intentions will be more transparent.